with KHON2 Weather, Kamaka Pili. We're right there at Aloha Friday tomorrow setting up our weekend, and it's looking to be beautiful. Just in recent hours, we did have a small craft advisory go into effect for the eastern portion of the state, at least until 6 o'clock in the evening, and that has to do with the trade winds, so I don't mind having to, state, uh, to share with you that advisory is pushed out there because these trade winds are helping to keep these warm summer days as bearable as possible. <laughs> now. Throughout this week, we've been leading at about 15 miles per hour with these winds. Well, that's going to be gradually increasing to 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that's going to help, again, to cool down things because of the warmth of these uh, warm summer uh, September days will continue. Now, we have a disturbance south of the island. That's actually part of hurricane season. An update right now, we're not having any threats towards the islands. That system south of us is moving in a westerly direction, which is giving us, uh, giving us a clear to that. The biggest impact we're going to get from that system are the high clouds that's going to be brushing up against the islands and over the islands for the next few days. But looking in terms of the shower activity, towards the east of the islands, there's not much moisture until we get to Saturday night and then into Sunday. That's an old cold uh, a frontal band that had passed north of the islands earlier this week that's finally making its way towards the islands. So we can expect an increase of shower activity Saturday night and possibly throughout Sunday to end off the weekend on a damp note. But looking at our satellite right now, we just see some low-level pockets of moisture that may increase shower activity tonight for the windward sides but for the most part it's going to be mostly dry leading into this weekend looking at our ocean conditions two to four for both north and south one to three for east and west for those areas that are prone to flooding we do have some high tides and high level um, high water levels which could be a nuisance in terms of flooding for the next few days so just be aware of that now again moving into the weekend breezy conditions for saturday sunday but again those are the two days we can expect an increase of uh, rain chances but as we go through this upcoming week it looks to go back to some typical Hawaii weather. Joe, I give it back to you.